Well, we, we like to talk about talk, getting off to a fast start. <laughs> Easier said than done, but our lineup is set up, so we hopefully we can get off to a fast start. And thankfully tonight we did. I thought we did play uh, pretty well. And, you know, Franklin and Marshall's a very good team. It wasn't that long ago when we would go up to Franklin and Marshall and I'd look and they'd beat us in three and I'd think, how can we ever get as good as Franklin and Marshall? You know, and so I'm really proud of our kids and the way how far that they've come in a pretty short time. Uh, and uh, I thought they played well tonight, you know, hitting 462 in that third set and really kind of kick it into the gear. Well, I, I, th I think our defense is just unbelievable. You know, and uh, it, it's set up by the block, and, if, and, that's, and our block is set up by our serve. And I thought we served pretty tough. We made, missed like four serves in the third set early, and then we didn't miss any the rest of the time. But, you know, and I tell the team I try not to react to a missed serve because if we don't serve them tough, they're going to pass it perfect, and they're a good team. They're going to put the ball away. We had a tough, tough time with Casey Garrison, one of their, their middle tonight, because uh, when they passed it perfect, they would get her the ball, and we had a tough time stopping her. And so she hit in the 300s. But as a team, we held them to 118, and that's a little bit above our average but I've got to be pleased with that. Yeah. Well, Caroline Dangle tonight, uh, our setter, <laughs> who's not supposed to lead you in digs, going into that third set, she was leading us in digs. Uh, Deanna Bradbury caught her with 13, but Caroline had 12 tonight, and she just was able to dig ball after ball, read the tip, get back for the line shot, and I just thought she did a fantastic job. And uh, we talked about what she was going to do offensively, even from the back row, and she was able to accomplish a couple of those things tonight. Well, you know, I think it, it means a tremendous amount not to have to get in the bus, miss a class, rush out, grab a snack, <laughs> and then finally eat dinner at 10.30 on the way home. You know, not to have to do that is huge. And so we are very happy about being home for the MAC semifinals next Wednesday night and <laughs> at 7 o'clock. And uh, we do, and I don't have a time for that Saturday yet, but we're looking at 3. If, 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 if. If we win on Wednesday, um, so we, we are hoping we have a lot of fans on Wednesday night.